It's time for another Dice Tower review with the Chief, Bart Brunchine. I'm the Chief from the Dice Tower, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Chateau Rockford, a kids' game which is uh, designed by Bernard Weber and uh, Jens Peter Schleiman. Schleiman? Sorry. Um, it's a game uh, basically about mice trying to get cheese as they run around on a roof. Again, it's a kid's game, uh, I would say four and up. This one, it's, it's still challenging, but it's not as much fun for me, although my son loves the little traps that are in here and the mice falling in. So still a really good game. Um, it's got some challenge to it, that's for sure. Um, my son doesn't quite get some of the strategy yet, so maybe a little bit older. Uh, as a four-year-old, he loves the mice. The mice are cute. I'll show you a close-up later. And he loves the fact that they fall in the little traps, but he's not quite up on the actual strategy of, you know, looking for the cheese, and you got to match the cheese up, and, and then you get the cheese, and the first one to get four cheeses wins. But he does love the traps, so and he'll call for this game every once in a while, and it's fun enough. I'll play it with him. No problem at all. All right, here's a closer look at the board. Um, the box bottom is actually part of the board. Let's see if I can lift this out without completely destroying the roof tiles. Underneath, you're going to see a bunch of cheeses and tiles. And these tiles cover little holes. And during the game, I'll get into this in a little bit, but you'll, you'll have a sliding action. And basically, you're not going to see all these pieces, but you can slide. And when you slide, it shifts these around, and it really, most importantly, moves these traps around. So as you slide, you can slide from any direction as one of your actions. You're going to move these tiles around, and sometimes you'll move them to your advantage, and sometimes you'll move them to uh, prevent another player from getting it or to drop a player into a trap. So that's what's underneath. There's little holes under every one of these tiles. It's also how you store the game. It's one part I don't like. Um, uh, basically, they're hard to store because there's nowhere to put anything. You put everything in there and it stores perfectly. Just makes setup a little bit harder. Nothing bad. So, and see if I can get these on here. So you're looking at these nice little roof tiles and there's going to be what's called an uncovering phase. First of all, here are your mice. I'm usually red. So you'll start with one of your mice in a tower, in your tower. And uh, on your turn, you can take four actions. An action can be um, to uncover a roof tile. Roof tiles, you can cover anything that's adjacent to you, uh, including diagonal. You can't move diagonal, but you can uncover diagonal. So I could un uncover this as one action, and immediately I see that there is a, uh, there's a cheese here. I could leave that off, and then I could uncover this one and see, ooh, better watch out, there's a couple traps here. That would be two actions. Third action could be to move out, and my fourth action could be to move over here on this cheese. Probably wouldn't want to do that because, as I already explained, an action can also be simply moving a trap. So someone or moving or called sliding, someone on their next turn, no doubt about it, would come in and slide this trap over mine and drop my little red guy right in and I would lose him for the rest of the game. So I could always bring another one of my guys back on, uh, but one of the main keys here is that you've got to have um, your mouse on two of the same types of cheese. So I don't know if this is Gouda, whatever, I'm not a cheese expert, but if I was here, I would need to have my guy on a identical piece of cheese. There is one. So if this was the game and I was able to do something like this, I would win this piece of cheese. First person to get four of uh, four different types of cheese wins the game. So you can see why it's important to have all four of your mice. Uh, you may want them all out there. Um, you may only want a few, but if you lose them, you're not going to be able or it's going to hurt your chance to win the game. So that is, in a nutshell, the gameplay. Everybody's got their pieces on there. You can move anywhere. As long as there's a piece underneath a roof tile, you leave the roof tile off. Your mouse cannot move on top of the roof. It can't come off the board and move. 
so uh, you have to basically view something and obviously I wouldn't want to move here or here and I could view diagonally if I had another turn and say yes you cannot you cannot move diagonally but I can move and that would be an action for every step I take so every step is an action uncovering a roof is an action and sliding is an action you may not be able to see it but there's little red areas on these you can see them clearly from the side of the box you can slide on any red area and they're spaced out so and you simply slide it through and and it changes the maze underneath so that's Chateau Rockfort again look at these mice I'm telling you nice and shiny good solid pieces uh, they feel like they're uh, plastic molded, they're not wood. Uh, buck teeth, come on, can't go wrong here. So, Chateau Rockford. So in a review, covered a little bit in the intro, I like this game. Uh, it's not my favorite kids game, uh, but the traps are a blast. Uh, handles four, uh, my four year old loves it. Uh, as he gets a little bit more strategic with it, it'll be a little bit more fun. And at about that point, he won't want to play anymore. That's what I think. Uh, you know, he'll probably still want to play around seven, maybe eight. But I think by then, hopefully, he'll be wanting to do Memoir 44 and some different things. Or not. So, but uh, I like this. Uh, I'm glad I bought it. And again, the mice are so cute. I mean, come on. Look at them. They're great. I'm the Chief. See ya. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. Yeah.